Oh, well, all righty. Good day, good morning, and salutations, scavengers. How's everybody doing? Cha -cha 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 -cha! Anyways, as y'all can see, it's been raining these past. Oh, oh, oh. Anyways, as y'all can see, we got a little water back there in Old Dodger. Had some rain, it's been wet, can't really get anything done. So I figured today would be a great day to bust out the bucket of stripping wire and have a stripper-thon for all of my favorite people. Yeah. So what I have saved up over here is all the wire, stripping wire. When y'all see me say stripping wire, when I come home, sort it out, throw it in a bucket. And a uh, bucket's full, it's time to strip it out. So we're gonna go ahead and strip it. First thing we need to do is separate everything by size because there's multiple different sizes here. It's so much easier to scrap stuff out when you have it separated out by size so you don't have to keep adjusting the blade and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get this all separated out by its size. That way we can get this, uh, the show on the road, yeah. Alright, so now that we uh, roughly got this stuff all sorted out by size, we're going to go ahead, we'll just start off with the smaller batch of the stuff over here. I believe most of it is about 10 gauge. 10 gauge is pretty much where I cut it off. Anything smaller than that, it just kind of, if it's solid core, goes into the uh, number one. And if it's just kind of bendable, stranded kind of stuff, goes into the number two. <sighs> so yeah, we'll start off with this uh, smaller gauge stuff right here. Starting to rain again, so I had to move my wiring in. But anyways, I hope we can see everything. Got my little strip meister here set up. Awesome little tool right here that will pay for itself over and over and over again. I'm actually thinking of upgrading and getting the model that has a a motor on it with a I think it's a foot pedal switch or some sort of switch and then that way you don't even have to deal with the drill anymore but for the time being we got our Dewalt drill we're gonna hook on up to the uh, little strip meister here we're gonna start off with that smaller stuff get a good bite there on the uh, on the old uh, spindle and then the blade adjustment is something that I'm still I'm still learning to perfect but we're getting there we're getting there run that on through there Yeah, keep a little blade handy because you don't want to cut too deep that you start cutting into the copper, just enough to kind of break into the uh, insulation there, free up the end on it. And what you want to hear is popping. When it comes apart, you want to hear the popping sound like that. The louder and crispier the pop is, Ooh the better you're doing because that means that you did not cut into the copper. Therefore, when you pull your piece of copper out, there's a little bit cut up in here. When you pull your piece of copper out, you got one solid piece and it's not falling apart in little strands. So get us a tote for our copper, trash can for the trash, put on some good tunes and have a ball. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, well that's the, uh, that's it for the small stuff. Gonna move on over to the, the next size up here. This is where it starts getting fun when you start stripping this bigger stuff. So let's go ahead and do it.
Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, that's it for the six gauge stuff. Where you going, Merce? We ain't done. We still got more stripping to do. Why are you hiding behind the bike? Do you want the TV? You want the TV? You can have the TV. It's 4K. All right, the bigger stuff, the four gauge stuff, as I said, the bigger it gets, the funner it gets. Let's get this all cleaned up. Look at that, y'all. It's getting bigger. Okay, we're gonna step it up to the next notch. This is like two gauge and up. All really big stuff. Let's get it cleaned up and see what happens. Yeah, big stuff right here, boy. the big chunky monkey right here chunky monkey Y'all check it out, this thing even does Romex, man. Look at that. Look at that, is that not the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen? Got two pieces of number one and some bare bright noise. All right, y'all, here it is in all of its glory. Let's get a weight on it and see what we got. Got the scale set up over here. Make sure zero pounds right there. This tub itself is four to five pounds. We'll just call it five for good measure. Oh. Okay, so 50.5 minus five. We'll just call it 45 pounds. Last I was checking, Bear Bright was about 3.30 a pound, $3.30 a pound. So we'll multiply that by 45. Got about $148.50 here. About 150 bucks. Right there, this one little tote. Hundo 50, Hundo 50. Awesome sauce, y'all. But anyway, scavengers, well, thank y'all so much for chiming in on this strip episode, getting down and dirty with Mike. Appreciate it. Gonna put a little affiliate link down below to Strip Meister. Go get y'all one and uh, make y'all some money. This thing has paid for itself over and over and over again. You guys go get one. I promise you, I promise you, within the first few months, you'll probably pay it off. No problem. Alrighty guys, see you on the next one. Peace.